Welcome back to Metro Exodus. Last episode we celebrated New Year's, and this episode we're playing as Klebnikov, a signed cop at birth, fighting on the side of the fascistic rulers, instead of on the rebel side. Let's go shoot some people trying to defend themselves. Okay, so, um, what do we have? It's been a while since I've actually used a gun in the game. I've been using the flamethrower, which is quite different. Shotgun and assault rifle. Guess that's it. We got five med kits. Not that much ammo. This thing holds a hell of a lot in one magazine, though. I can't seem to zoom in. Are we not allowed to in here? Mm. Oh, I think we still have the crafting ingredients left over from before. Can make assault rifle ammo and buckshot. I probably should make both. But let's also see if we have any upgrades. Oh, looks like we have a lot. Heavy stock and grip. Just more stability, so simply better. Short barrel and suppressor. Do I want a suppressor? So going to a standard barrel gives me a little bit more accuracy, a little bit more damage, that's important. But less stability. And then this gives me a lot more damage. I think the damage is worth it. Yeah, even though it's hurting our... Hurting our... Oh no, it's actually improving our accuracy, but it is hurting our stability quite a bit. But I think that's totally worth it for what seems to be double damage from three to six ticks. I think a night vision scope would be over the top. It gets kind of hard to see through that. Yeah, reflex sight's good, I think. Mm, yeah, high capacity magazine would hurt our stability quite a bit. I like the extended magazine. I, I think 45 rounds is plenty. Green laser. It's great, doesn't hurt anything. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, that's just the assault rifle. Heavy grip, simply better. I've already got the double barrel. Closed reflex sight. Versus open, I guess closed, uh, yeah, stick with closed. Infrared laser. Sounds good. Now let's craft some ammo. Yeah, that's good. Полковник. 
Ну что стоите? Вперед на позиции! Есть! There we go, now I can scope in. Just take more ammo there. I didn't have to craft any at all. <laughs> Maybe a night vision scope would have been good. Лейтенант, я сейчас к взрыв машинки, а вы прикройте. Есть. Right, we're on hardcore. I thought I could maybe take one shot. Nope. Much as I want to use the shotgun, I don't want to run through fields of fire to close the distance. Oof. So I definitely don't need to be precious with ammo at all. There's tons of resupplies everywhere where you can just take unlimited ammo. <laughs>
Хлебников на связи. Штаб слушает. Один заряд не сработал. Черт. Отходите на Сибирскую и держитесь там. Больше надеяться не на кого. Я сдержаться. Конец связи. Oh wow, I got no more ammo. Uh-oh. Oh boy. I didn't mean to stab myself. Держимся тут до последнего! Подкреплений не будет! Или мы их, или они нас! Where's ammo? There we go. Ooh.
Операция закончена. Исполнители устранены. Готов к эвакуации. Ах ты, сволочь. Что значит уехал? Без меня? Что происходит? Обеспечение эвакуации. Эвакуация? Бойцы, гражданские, ты же их всех убил! Кого теперь эвакуировать? Слав, зеленки осталось только на командование, понимаешь? Остальные обречены! Агас, просто чтобы быстрее, и понимаешь? Ты знал, знал с самого начала! Знал и молчал, сука! А у меня что, был выбор? Да и какая теперь разница, они уехали. Петров, Петров, они уехали без нас. Серегу мне дай быстро. Как? Погиб? Серега, сынок. Значит так, Петров, в большом сейфе РПГ. Бери и бегом на старую развилку, там перехватишь, понял? Выполнять. Что хочешь? А я все сделал. <как> Прощай, Слава. Дядя Толя? Он что, себя убил? Почему? Не смотри туда. Прости, что я приказ нарушил. На станции стреляли. Много. Потом затихло. А тебя все нет. Я боялся, что случилось что-то. Пошел тебя искать. Послушай, я тебе утром рассказывал. Кому можно знать правду, а кому нет. Забудь. Не нам такое решать. Если тебя обманывают, то точно не ради твоего блага. Вот поэтому он и умер. Понимаю, папа. Молодец. А теперь... Идем домой. Кирилл, это Мельник. Я у входа в бункер. Понял вас, полковник. Там связи не будет, так что будьте осторожны. Спасибо, Кирилл. Конец связи. Сосна, Яльха, ответьте, прием. Рядовой. Я схожу в бункер. Пока я там, связи не будет. Сколько пробуду внутри, не знаю. Когда следующий сеанс? Полный, товарищ полковник. Аккумуляторы? Держу заряженным. Дверь? Запер. Печенку съел. Приезжаю. На грязной станции не хожу. Пап, ты мне натурально шпаргалку оставил. Если я сейчас читаю. Читай, читай. Повторение, мать учения. Все, сосна. Конец связи. Сосна, ответьте, прием. Сосна на связи, прием. Я очень люблю тебя, сын. А я тебя, пап. И печенку, чтоб ел. Обязательно, понял? Конец связи.
I wish Klepnikov understood what a piece of shit general was before killing dozens of people. Murdering dozens of people. So are we to be burning slime again or back to the flamethrower? And just a flamethrower. Gotta admit, burning slime was really damn fun. I hope I get to do it again. Didn't blow up, liar. Stalker's Diary 1. The Colonel's off his rocker. He wants us to go back to the comm center and get more maps so that the brass in the HQ could sit around looking important. Nobody cares if we catch a couple of lethal doses each looking for the stupid things. The bunker is bad news. Radiation's so high the guys just call it the egg boiler. Then there's the mutants too. Most of them are nothing special. But there have been sightings of blind giants. Probably the reason several groups went missing. The place sucks. Just like this mission. At least they're giving us enough green stuff. It's gotta count for something. Especially nowadays. So, this is that bunker, then. Don't make noise. Gonna stay crouched to make less noise. The pilot light's kind of loud, though. reference. Things have been awakened. Всему персоналу немедленно покинуть комплекс. 
Биологическая защита реактора нарушена. Реактор будет заглушен. Изоляция реактора нарушена. Переключение на резервное питание. Изоляция реактора нарушена. Резервное питание включено. So we gotta survive long enough. Gotcha. Minimize the angles I can be attacked from. Stay in the corner. Unless they come through there. Fuck. I think I'm dead. <laughs> I shouldn't have reloaded. Oh. Clock up the tunnels so they can't get through. I'm reloading again. I hope I did it early enough this time. Fast, 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 fast. Oh, Jesus.
searched already. No maps here. Ooh, workbench. Already got the automatic pneumatic system. Oh, automatic pneumatic system. That's why I feel like my pressure is always pretty much maxed every time I check it, because it is filling it up. Not to the overpressurized red zone, but to the top of the green zone. Okay, well that's amazing then. Now I know I really don't have to pump. Already got the big tank. Let's clean it a bit. I don't really need more fuel, but I also super don't want to run out. Stalker's Diary 2. The old reports were correct. It does look like the reactor is still functioning. The place still has power. That reactor also seems to be leaking. Otherwise, where could all this radiation be coming from? That power doesn't make our lives much easier, though. Had it been regular, it certainly would, but as it is, it just comes on and off randomly and can't be relied on. The guys are already telling scary stories about the souls of the dead messing with the controls. It's all a load of crap, of course. The place is just all rusty and rotten, so its machinery has gone awry. There's something so cool and creepy about it just turning on and off, all the lights coming on and all the lights going off, and then this automated voice system just constantly saying diagnostic things over the air. Oh, Jesus, I didn't think they'd leap from the wall directly onto my face. Jesus. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Now I know. Oh, fuck. <sighs> My flamethrower didn't reach it. God, they can jump. different tiers of those mutants. There's those ones that are more pale, they seem to be the weaker ones, and then there's the ones that are darker and have red eyes. Those are the ones that are jumping off the walls and killing me, I think.
Oh, look at that old computer. All dirty and grimy. skimping on fuel. them. <laughs> now, if I remember right, they're... They're blind, right? They're blind, but they can hear me move. I don't know if I can, like, crouch and escape. I think I'm just gonna try burning them. Ah! <laughs> oh, fuck. No weapon. Uh. Or light? Stalker's Diary 3. Good news, we reached the archive. Bad news, the blind giants seem to have made it their lair. Luckily, there was nobody home, so we at least took a look around. The shelves are trashed, the maps are all in heaps. It's going to take us at least a few days to make anything out of this mess. And the new tenants can come back at any moment. Something tells me they aren't going to be all too happy to find us cataloging the archives without their permission. To make matters worse, radiation is off the scale in the archive. We spent five minutes there, then took a month's share of green stuff each, and I'm still queasy. I'll have to ask the colonel to arrange a bonus for us all, otherwise we'll all keep glowing in the dark for months. Of course, we grabbed as many maps as we could carry while we were there, let the guys at the HQ sort them out. That, at least, will give them something to do. 
In any case, the mission is complete as it could ever be, and if someone thinks he could do better, he's welcome to try. I, for one, am not setting foot in that grave ever again if I can help it. I see you too have made the wiring up in the ceiling your home. Getting annoyed at each other. Sneak amongst them, huh? They can't spell me. Please don't be able to smell me. Oh! Well... <laughs> I guess they sort of can't smell you if they get really, really close. If they bump into you, for example.
Okay, uh, we're gonna go. устал Вот ты где, брат. Нашел карты и отдохнуть присел. Понимаю. Мне и самому отдышаться нужно. Так железки эти натирают. Главное, не засидеться тут с тобой. Меня сын твой прислал. Сказал, где искать. Он молодец. Боец. Хорошие. Постарался он. Дети. Все ради них. Я вот ради дочки тут. Умница, красавица, сильная, добрая. Не передать, как горжусь и как люблю, а высказать не могу, не умею. Пытаюсь быть отцом, а из меня командир лезет, будто показав любовь, слабость свою обнажишь. Не только перед ней, тот же муж ее. Он ведь мне даже нравился сначала. Но как же бесит, что ему правду знать надо. Его дома лучшая на свете женщина ждет, а он головой не за грош рискует. Нормальные люди хотят, чтоб в похлебке грибов побольше, дома тепло, да дети здоровы, а ему правду подавай. Позволь, я на карты взгляну. Ох, я на него и злился. А потом посмотрел на мир. И по-другому на жизнь свою прошлую взглянул. Особенно, когда твою историю узнал. Прямо себя увидел, прошлого. Мы ведь оба служили большой лжи, потому что убедили себя, что так надо. И если бы не зять мой, то и закончил бы я, как ты. Зато теперь в кои-то веки в моей жизни есть смысл, потому что я могу, наконец, взглянуть правде в глаза. Думаю, ты меня понимаешь. 
И спасибо тебе за карты. Не думай, что все было зря. Ты всех нас спас. А Кирилл? Я передам ему часы и прослежу, чтобы он выбрался из этой дыры. Обещаю. Ну, мне пора. Прощай, полковник Хлебников. Спи спокойно. Артем, держись. Держись, сынок. Let's finish with some thoughts on the two colonels. I really liked it. I liked how they framed it with the two colonels, one being Colonel Miller, who were following around and not playing as, but just seeing them in the present, getting bits of the story from Kirill and from just looking around in the places where Klebnikov went and seeing what was left over. I didn't like Klebnikov, and I didn't like the part where we had to shoot all the rebels. But aside from that, I really, really enjoyed it. I sort of wish that we got to burn more weird goo stuff with the flamethrower because that was so damn satisfying. Well, that was the Two Colonels DLC for Metro Exodus. I'll see you in a little bit for the Sam Story DLC.